Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today I'm going to show you how to make a warm farro breakfast bowl. So guys, this happens to be my latest favorite breakfast. I've kind of gotten tired of eating my oatmeal and or soaked oats for breakfast and you know it's getting cold outside and I just want something warm. So I discovered farro. It is a, a wonderful wonderful grain. Uh, it's one of the more ancient grains. I just got it at Whole Foods in the bulk bins and it's it's kind of like barley and you can use this as a rice alternative in a, in a savory dish but I'm going to show you how I use it for breakfast. So I have a cup, one cup of farro here and you know, and I just covered it with water about to two cups of water and soaked it overnight. So all you need to do is just drain it. And then just, I'm going to put it in my pan here and I've got two cups of water. Put that in there. And we are just going to, we're going to set this on medium high and we're going to cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I'll show you when it gets closer to done what it looks like when it's done. While we're waiting for that, I would like to share with you some of the exciting things we offer here on the show. Our official website plantbasedcookingshow.com offers hundreds of our original free step-by-step -step video recipes as well as tips and resources for everyday plant-based living. For more in-depth learning we created the 28 days plant-based made easy course which will teach you everything you need to know to successfully transition to a plant-based diet in 28 days. The course includes weekly meal plans and shopping guides, 65 tasty video recipes, and daily learning materials from our most trusted plant-based resources. For big holiday meals, we created the Plant-Based Holiday Feast Made Easy Cooking Class. This course is an in-depth, two-hour, real-time cooking class where I walk you through making a delicious eight-dish holiday meal that's perfect for Thanksgiving and Christmas-style feast. All of our classes offer lifetime access so you can take your time and work through them at your own pace and revisit them as much as you like. Our plant-based made easy community offers our basic free membership that is free for life and is great for staying in the loop. And our Legends membership for $15 a month that offers instant access to all of our digital products, including our 28 day course and holiday feast cooking class, our growing line of printable cookbooks, wholesale discounts on our branded apparel and named credit in the show. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay guys, our farro is just about done. If you wanna come in for a closer look and you can see what it looks like uh, when it's done. Okay, now all we have to do is assemble. So I've just got my bowl here and what I have here, what I like to put on it, I've got some toasted pecans, some black mission figs or just figs that I cut up into little teeny chunks and about half of an apple. I might not even use half of the apple but this happens to be a honey crisp which is really yummy and delicious. And I've got some cinnamon here and some unsweetened almond milk because the sweetness is going to come from the figs. So now we're just going to assemble this guy. Put some of our delicious farro in there. So I'm going to use about half of that and I'll save the other half for my husband. And if you want, you can just stick this back in the refrigerator in a Tupperware and it will keep for tomorrow. And to heat it back up, you just put it back in the pan with a little bit more liquid or maybe a little bit of the almond milk just to heat it up lightly. And there you go. So I'm going to put my figs in there. Some toasted pecans. Oh, I just love, love, love toasted pecans. They're one of my favorites. Some of this apple. I 
a little bit of cinnamon. And just a little bit of almond milk, but you can use as much as you like. I'm probably going to use about, oh, about a half cup. Mmm, oh, it smells so good. Oh, there's the cinnamon and the figs. Mm. So now it's just down to the taste. Mmm. I absolutely love this. Now I like it, I don't like my breakfast to be very sweet, but you always have the option if you like to pour a little bit of maple syrup on it or, or a date paste and stir it in and that would be super delicious too. And I'll see you next time.